Hello, greetings from South Florida, USA. I'm Tina K. Valant. I have a unique hobby I've done for over 20 years. I raise and release native butterflies. These are the much-loved monarchs. They're found on every continent except Antarctica, and they are known throughout the world. They're called monarchs because the royalty always considered them to be theirs. They eat, poop, and sleep a lot. So, I recently had the extreme pleasure to have been invited to be part of a book, Your Story with Musart. And these are stories of inspiration, perseverance, hope, kindness, and so much more. So, I really recommend you check it out. I'd like to read you a little excerpt from my chapter called Spread Your Wings and Fly. We've all had that time in our life where we've wondered, do we make the right decision? Or what if we would have done that? Or what if we would have done this? And butterflies during their metamorphosis go through very similar things, questioning themselves, I believe. So I'm going to read you a brief section from my chapter. Did I make the right decision? I wonder what others are doing. What if there is no rewind and there is no looking back? For now, just focus on the moment, rest, and hope for the future. If all goes well, in a couple of weeks, there'll be a wake-up call. Prior to sunrise, the newly formed life must make a conscious effort to burst from the self-made constraints of its chrysalis. There's a feeling of euphoria. Walls are broken through. A rush of air fills new lungs. Three pair of new legs grasp for something solid above. The plump lower body attached to the chrysalis drops. Breathe. Hold on. Everything's going to be okay. A rush of adrenaline flows. Two sides of the proboscis will be zipped together. This appendage at the chin enables the butterfly to drink nectar from feeders, flowers, or even juice from fruit. The insatiable caterpillar feast is now only a past memory. Are you willing to live mindfully in this moment from everything that you've worked for and from and all the opportunities ahead of you which await. From the shoulder area, there's movement and weight. Breathe, believe, flex. Good things are coming. Right place, right time. With every breath and stretch, fluid pumps from the body into the shoulder area. Magnificent, colorful wings slowly unfurl. The butterfly is damp and vulnerable for hours as she or he adjusts and gets used to this new body. Two compound eyes provide multiple views of everything in sight, except for their own glorious wings. What magnificence do you not see in yourself? That's just a brief section from my chapter. I hope you'll get this book and let me know what you think. It's really wonderful and I've I'm almost to the end and I'm kind of sad because I've really enjoyed all the stories and meeting all these wonderful authors and teachers from around the world. So again, I'm Tina Valant. I'm sending you much love from South Florida. Be well, stay safe. Thanks for listening. Bye everyone.